These generators power things like motor pools and things of that nature. You have your terminal. Today is a special day for Sergeant Lewis, a power generator equipment repairer, and Private Muhammad. I drive. A motor transport operator. Both are deployed in Afghanistan, part of Combined Task Force Dragoon. I've never been in a situation in my career that I, to where I've seen an actual place to where we can go. Like, you know, soldiers have churches and they have all different types of denominations, but I actually having an, like an Islamic center is actually pretty exciting. I'm excited to go. I've never seen one in my career, and I think it's awesome that they're actually finally doing it. Sergeant Lewis and Private Muhammad are Muslim Americans, and today for the first time they are being introduced to the Islamic Center on Kandahar Airfield, Afghanistan. Considering we have people from different backgrounds and faith groups, it would be logical to note that we would also have uh, soldiers from the uh, uh, Islamic tradition. And those Muslim soldiers are afforded the same free exercise of religion as anyone else. And one of the ways in which we provide that in the Army is through uh, religious materials and uh, accommodation of their religious practices. Uh, we advise commanders uh, when there may be upcoming holidays, uh, particularly, for example, uh, Ramadan, as we refer to it in Afghanistan, commonly known as Ramadan. <laughs> I knew, I, I've seen you a thousand times, but I never knew. And I've seen you once or twice, but of course we never know. But now I see you guys and I really truly know that at least there's two other people on this entire file. <laughs> that feel my pain. Yes. That feel my pain. So I'm good. I'm, I'm enjoying it right now. It's awesome. Like, we're all brothers at the end of the day. And to be closer to another brother that has the same religion and also background is... It really, it really feels good. All right, that describes Sergeant Blevins, who found Islam while deployed in Iraq in 2007, welcomes Sergeant Lewis and Private Muhammad and recalls his first time in the Islamic Center. I was walking on cloud nine. It, it really made my day because I was convinced that like Iraq, this is going to be a very lonely time for me. It was going to be a lonely Ramadan. It was going to be a lonely year. I'd be worshiping by myself. So when I found out that CAF has an Islamic center that's open to everybody, and then I came in here and received the welcome that I did, it's a blessing. <laughs> if you are a soldier in the U.S. Army and you're a Muslim, you have no reason to be ashamed, and you have no reason to hide. We're here to make this place, God willing, better. We're here to do a mission to help people. Keep that intention in your heart and keep that in your mind. And come and worship with your brothers. Come and worship with your brothers and sisters. You don't need to hide. You don't need to be afraid to say, I'm an American, I'm a soldier, and I'm a Muslim. I'm Army Staff Sergeant Jose Ibarra, Kandahar Airfield, Afghanistan.